Arachnophobia is one of the most common fears in the world, and it's a fear of spiders, ticks, and scorpions. One of the most feared spiders in the world is the Black Widow. These animals belong to a genus of spiders known as Lytrodectus. This genus has up to 32 species, and they can be found on every continent except for Antarctica. The general idea of what they look like is all black but with a red hourglass under their abdomen. And while yes, there are many species that fit that description, for example the Western Black Widow, but Latrodectus come in a variety of colors and designs. A famous example is the red back spider. But there are some species that are a lot more colorful, like the brown button spider, Northern Black Widow, and Katapo. But I could be biased when I call these animals really beautiful, because black and red are my favorite colors. The ones that get categorized as Black Widows are the animals we usually associate with the Latrodectus genus. But there are also animals that are known as brown widows and red widows. Another thing that these animals are famous for is sexual cannibalism, where after mating, the female will eat the male. I mean, this is why they are called widows. To all the guys out there, this is why you should pay for the meal during a dinner date. But the thing is, not only do a small number of latrodectus species do this, it is very rare for them to do so. Now when these things do happen, it is done to increase the chances of their young survival by dropping a number of spiders that are going to compete with them for getting food. Spiders are a key animal in controlling their insect population. The animal will release digestive juices over their insect prey to liquefy it, and then they will slurp it up. I bet you will never drink a milkshake the same way ever again with that thought in your head, especially that I brought it up. Spiders are misunderstood animals, especially with Latrodectus. People think that this animal is extremely deadly, but usually people get a dry bite, and most people get no serious damage from the bite. The antivenom is more of a painkiller than an actual lifesaver. After 1983, no animal in the Latrodectus genus has killed a person in the United States. But they're like super aggressive animal king, they hunt people down, don't they? No, that's not true. These are passive animals, rarely do they bite people. Bites tend to happen if someone puts a shoe, sock, or glove on, and there's a spider inside of it, or if they pick something up, and they put their fingers underneath the object, and the spider just happens to be right there. See, they are trying to protect themselves. No animal wants to die, and they will do whatever they can to stay alive. Usually, they run away from us. Now, their venom can cause muscle spasms, cramps, tachycardia, muscle pain, and hydrosis, and the pain can last for several days and even weeks. So be careful before you put something on or pick an object up. Never put your fingers underneath an object. Always tell this to your kids too because the kids are going to be more affected by the venom than an adult will. I'm not saying you shouldn't be afraid of these animals. I'm saying that all animals including Latrodectus have an important role to play and just want to be left alone.